Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through and clicking on the video. If you are here for the first time, um, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. So guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages. This message, uh, this reading is going to be um, different, okay? This is going to be a twin flame reading, all right? So this is going to be a reading for those of you who feel like you are on a twin flame journey or this on a quest to find your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart, your kingdom spouse, your other half, the person that you are destined to be with and create and, you know, go through the rest of life with and create a life with. And, you know, I'm just trying to make it clear, clear, clear. <laughs> All right. Now, Twin Flame is literally like your other half, all right? I haven't done a Twin Flame reading in a very, very, very long time, guys. Um, mostly because it takes a lot out of me and it's very, you know, yeah, you're very draining. But anyways, um, so this is for those of you who are on a Twin Flame journey or on, on the search for your Twin Flame or, you know, dealing with the deep soulmate connection. I feel like this... Not... Uh, I feel like this reading is going to connect with you more if you are already on this journey or um, if you have already crossed paths with your person, okay, whether or not you've been in a relationship with that person um, or if you guys are just like friends or best friends or, you know, I don't know, college buddies. I feel like this is going to connect with those of you who are, who know that you are on a journey or who is, or who have already connected with your person okay so i'm going to be picking up on the divine feminine energy as well as the, the divine masculine energy um and yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna move through this you know however spirit guides me all right so let's get into it guys all right so if you if you know that you're not here because you're on a twin flame journey um, or because you want to know what your person has going on or because you, you know, want to reconnect with your twin flame or your soulmate or your other half, then just click off the video, please. I don't need any of those comments down below. Not feeling it today. All right. If you're not here because if you don't care what your person is doing or what your other half is doing, if you know your twin flame and you have no desire to know what they have going on, um... And I keep saying twin flame, twin flame, soulmate, deep connection, whatever. If you know this person and you have no desire to reconnect with them, then just go ahead and click off the reading. Or if you don't want to know what they have going on, then don't listen. Click off. Okay? Because come on, people. I shouldn't even have to say that, but you know, whatever. Because I'm not listening to any readings that I know I don't want to hear and that I'm not interested in. So just, you know, whatever. Okay? I'm sorry, guys. But let's get into it. Um... So I was the song that I have for this reading and what kind of um, triggered this reading today is the song Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. All right. Uh, some of you may be familiar with that song. Some of you may not be. Some of you could be um, your person's name could be Justin. Your name could be Justin. OK, but um, so the this song is literally I can't get any more other half twin flamey than this song okay so the chorus part the part that um stuck out to me he says because i don't want to lose you now i'm looking right at the other half of me the vacancy that sat in my heart is a space that you now that now you hold show me how to fight for now i'll tell you baby it was easy coming back here to you once i figured it out you were right here all alone it's like you're my mirror my mirror staring back at me so the part that really, really stuck out was the show me how to fight for us now. And then um, coming back here to you was easy once I figured it out. So this feels like a masculine energy, but we all hold masculine and feminine energy. So just take the energies, how they resonate. Feel free to flip them and reverse them if you desire to, or if that fits more in with your situation. But this feels like your other half awakening to the connection okay so um and this person 
they're realizing that you are their other half. They're realizing that what they're seeing in you, what you're reflecting to them, or all of the things that they're feeling but not saying, okay? Um, and this person, you definitely hold a space in this person's heart. You have a, this person has a soft spot for you. You have a soft spot for this person. This is somebody that you're holding a space for them. And, and you know, they have a space in your heart. You have a space in their heart. Okay. And literally in each other's soul. Cause this is like your soul mate or your, you know, your soul, uh, a deep, deep soul connection. All right. Higher level type of, um, soul mate here. Okay. Um, and this person is wanting to know, they're looking at you like you made it, you know, you make it look easy. But this person doesn't know how to deal with the emotions and the, the things that they're going through. They could be, they could be going through um, a spiritual awakening. They could, they're awakening to this connection. And this person does not really know how to, you know, how to cope with these feelings and these emotions and really mostly because they don't know what this is, okay? The ones of you who are watching me and other readers and who watch tarot and who are in the spiritual community are familiar with the term of twin flames and divine counterparts and karmics and things like that, right? Your person may not be, they may or may not be, but I feel like more they're not really um, familiar with those terms and things like that unless the two of you have really talked about it. But I feel like they, so they're trying to figure out what, is this what is this connection what is this pull that i am feeling toward this person right and so they want you to show them how to fight for it now they're ready to fight for this connection they and they're saying and i feel like they're awakening now because it says coming back here to you was easy you know once i figured it out so i feel like now that this person is awakening to the connection they're finding it you know easier to um to connect with you or to you know deal with whatever this is um the part where he says i'll tell you baby it was easy once i figured it out okay so this person you know they kind of you know been going through it it's been it's been a whole lot of what is this what is this why am i feeling like this why am i thinking about libra why am i all in my head about libra why like I'm not even ready for this. I'm not even ready for a commitment. I don't even know what this feeling is. But I know I can't stop thinking about Libra. I know I can't stop dreaming about Libra. I know I can't stop feeling Libra in my energy. Like, what is this? Okay. And I heard take a break. So you and this person could definitely be in some type of separation, taking a break from each other, not talking to each other. And I feel like this person is using that time, whether you are the one who walked away from this connection or they are, to really contemplate on what is this feeling what what is going on here because it's something that this person has never felt before so therefore they don't have the words to explain it they don't have the spiritual terms to explain it because they may not be spiritualists they may not be spiritual people like i just said so they don't have the spiritual terms to explain it they can't explain it in their own words or make it make sense in their own head so i feel like this person is taking a lot of time um reflecting and really, you know, isolating themselves and trying to just really figure out, am I losing my mind? Am I going crazy? What is this? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, But yeah, Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. You guys may definitely want to check that song out if you're resonating with anything that I've said before. And I know that was a lot um, of information for no cards to be pulled, but it's all relevant. So if you guys you know, skip the talking part, then whatever. Okay. But for those of you who listened, that was channeled and, you know, I feel like it's relevant to whoever it's for. So let's go ahead and pull the energies. I'm going to pull on the energy of the divine feminine side, and I'm going to pull on the energy of the divine masculine side. Okay. So first spirit, Please give me clear and accurate messages for this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray that my words are formed against us shall prosper. Please block any and all negative energy, evil eye, spell work that is sent this way. Please open my mind and my heart so that I can receive clear and accurate messages for the Libra Collective. Ashe, amen, spirit. Thank you. 
All right, so let's pull on the energy of the Divine Feminine first. Can I get an overall energy for the Divine Feminine in this dynamic spirit? Can I get an overall energy? Let me do two more shuffles, guys, for the Feminine energy. from the top okay and for the masculine just cut all right so let's see what's going on here we're gonna hop into the feminine energy first all right guys i don't do these readings a lot y'all so y'all bear with me if they're a little <laughs> All over the place because I'm just being, you know, letting spirit use me at this time, honey. All right, so feminine. Oh wow, that's crazy. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I have a I have a playlist. Um, every morning, well, uh, for the past couple of mornings, I've been, you know, I want to start my day out a little different. And y'all know I love music. And I, and you know, I channel through music and get downloads through music. And um, that's how I got the Mirror song. And it was the very last song that I heard before I stepped into this reading. And the very first song that I heard this morning um, was Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie. Okay. And it kept playing and playing in my head. So I just finally, I was like, you know, I started playing the song. And then after that, you know, it was just random songs that was popping up. So, um, but anyway, there's a part in the big girls don't cry song where she says, um, I rather be with myself and center clarity or something like that. I'd rather be with myself and center clarity, peace, serenity, yeah. Okay. Oh, and then this is the serenity card. So that song, and it's really funny because it was the very first song that I played this morning. And then Mirrors was the last song that played. And that's when I got the downloads that I got and the messages to do even do the Twin Flame reading. So I'm like, that's crazy. So, um... Yeah, serenity. It says, through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. Wow, it says peace too. Peace, serenity, yeah. Okay. Through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. So I, I'm getting a real let go, let God type of energy, okay? Or let go, let the universe type of energy, okay? Um, however you, you know, reference the higher source, higher power, the most high, okay? I'm getting a real let go, let God energy. So you guys could be um, releasing things, um, finding peace. I'm getting, if you know, if you are in separation with this person, you're finding peace. You're getting some type of clarity and you're finding peace in this situation, okay? You're just realizing that, you know, I'm I'm doing what I need to do. I've done the work that I need to do and I'm still working on myself and I'm still healing. So I just have to be, um, have faith and be confident in the fact that I'm doing the right thing on my side, on my, you know, I'm doing the work that I need to do in order to... You just like like you're playing your part in this connection, okay? Yeah, it's like, and trust that the, the universe and God has it, the rest under control, okay? Because you can only control so much. You can only control yourself. And um, it's like releasing things that you don't have any control over. You don't have any control over what your counterpart is doing or even though you want to. I mean, if you had control over them, then you guys would be together, right? 14, 14 on the timer. But I do feel like you're you're in a um, really peaceful, like serene type of energy. You're just realizing that, you know, I'm I'm doing all that I can on my side. And I just hope that my person is doing what they need to do on their side. And you're like, I'm going to have faith 
and just give it over to the universe, right? So I feel like that is the energy that you guys are in at this time. So let's see what energy. Okay, that said not yet. Um, so let's see what else comes out about the divine feminine here. And on the bottom of the deck, it says on track, okay? So something is right on track, right on time. Trust in divine timing. There's a clock here. Trust in divine timing. Trust in the universe. Everything is going according to plan. Everything is right on track. There's a man standing here ready to get on the train. I feel like your, your masculine or your counterpart, um, well, I'm talking to divine feminine energy. So the masculine energy... Okay, your your person, they're ready to get on train. They're on board, okay? And they are right on track, right on time. Things are happening as they are supposed to be, all right? This person could be going through something right now, and that's all a part of the process, all right? So what messages do we have for the Divine Feminines, please, Spirit? This one? Okay. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to use the Soul Journey Tarot. And on the on the bottom of this deck was love, okay? It says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And then you have purpose. I know what I am here to do. So you know that you're here to love. You know that you're here to find your counterpart. And that's a part of your purpose here. I'm here to raise the vibrations of the earth here, okay? Um, I'm hearing your purpose is to love. To show love. All right. Divine feminine energy. What's going on with divine feminines at this time? What's the divine feminine energy? What's going on with the divine feminines, please, spirit? Two more. One more shuffle, guys. All right, perseverance. Keep going. Everything's on track. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, you're just you're just going to keep going. You're trusting in the universe, trusting in the most high, and you're deciding to just keep going. I'm going to do my part, and I'm doing everything that I need to do, so that's all that I can do. And you're just deciding to keep it pushing forward, okay? Whatever your other, whatever's going on on the other side is the other side's issue, right? Like, you don't need to be concerned about that. You just need to trust in the universe about this situation here, okay? Yeah, see, I released the need to know all the answers. Yeah, you want to know everything, okay? You could have been in the energy to where I need to know what's going on with this person or I need to more so trying to control things, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's like releasing the need to control. Like, you you need to know everything. Spirit is like the person is coming. The person is on their way. Your other half is coming. And but you just need to know everything. When spirit, what day, what time, what color is he gonna be wearing? Is he gonna have a suit on? Is he gonna have a white flower in his left lapel on his suit? Like, is his shoes gonna be red or brown? Like, what is his hair gonna look like? Or what you know what I'm saying? You wanna know all the answers or like, like you need to release that 1818 that needs to control everything it's like dang i said the person was coming and but you're like okay i heard you but when though what they gonna look like what do i need to wear what what is the weather gonna be like that day should i dress for the rain is it gonna be sunny am i gonna meet this person in my hometown you know do i already know this person <laughs> you're like it's really like oh my gosh calm down fem calm down okay libra so, yeah, releasing the need to know all. Oh, my God, you have the peace card. Serenity and peace. It's like this is what you're focused on, um, Libra, or this is what a divine feminine, this is what you're focused on, or this is what spirit needs you to be focused on. Peace. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. You are in a state of serene peace, or you're getting there, okay, um, or you're almost there. Okay, and I'm also hearing another song, um, The Climb by Miley Cyrus, and that was one of the songs that played on the playlist as well. I'm gonna make I'm gonna um make a playlist that go with this reading of all the songs that I heard this morning. I wrote them down. So I'm gonna make a playlist for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if it's not there already. 
But yeah, um, peace. You're like, oh my gosh, balance on the bottom of the deck. Big Libra energy. I bring a state of peace. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So th things are balancing out. Oh, you got abundance. Yeah. Okay. So things are balancing out for you, um, Libra. I feel like the more you focus on your serenity and your peace, all right, and the more you release um, doubt, the more you release fear, the more you release the need to control everything and to know everything, the more peaceful um, and serene you are, the higher your vibrations are, the better your energy is, and it's allowing that room for spirit to, you know, and your guides to do their thing, like, the universe is just, God is just like, let me work. Libra, just let me work. Let me work. You focus on you and let me work. Okay? <laughs> All right. Anything else? What else for the divine feminine? Anything else? Okay. I think they just want me to get one. Okay, you have courage on the bottom of the deck. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, you could be scared and nervous that this situation isn't going according to plan or you don't, you know, because you don't have all the answers or all the information, you could be, you know, having that doubt. And, you know, spirit is like, there's no need for that. Okay. All right, so let's get your Kashyyyk Tarot card. All right, for... My Libra Feminines, Divine Fem, for my Libra Divine Fem Spirit. What's going on with the Divine Feminine Energy? Two more shuffles. Ooh, something. These cards trying to jump out, child. We have the King of Forces on the bottom of the deck. Now, the, the Queen and the King of Forces in this deck are the King and the Queen of Swords in this energy. So... If you're the queen of forces, here's the king of forces. That's your person. That's your counterpart showing up here. All right. All right. For Libra, feminine energy, divine feminine energy. What's going on? Okay. You have the increscent moon. And you have the master artesian at the bottom. Yeah, I was going to say somebody's very artistic. Um, you guys could really need to focus on, um, I heard, everyday task. So somebody's good with their hands, all right? Um, this could be you or your person or both of you. Somebody's very artistic, though. I feel like you're, excuse me, um... Spirit is just telling you to stay focused on your work. Stay focused on what you're doing. There's a lot of energy of staying focused. Yeah, because look what's behind that on track. Everything's on track. Spirit's like, stay focused. Do you. Create. Um, all of that energy that you use to worry, all that free time that you have to try to control situations and to worry thing and worry about things, spirit is like, use that to your advantage. Okay. Use that to create, tap into your creative energy. Um, some of you are artists, painters, or you do something creatively with your hands or something like that. Somebody could work with beads. I'm getting bead work or like, um, um, why am I hearing jealousy? What? Okay, this this feels like some karmic energy. Yeah, you got to be on the lookout for some type of karmic energy. And you got muse here. Yeah, so find inspiration. Find inspiration in your community here. I'm not going to touch that, okay? I feel like there's some karmic energy trying to creep in here. All right, but we're going to... um. Mm. So, yeah, folks, I'm going to read this Six of Keys card. It's like stay focused because things are, you know, things are going on behind the scenes. You can have some new creative projects that you're working on or that you need to focus on here. Okay. I'm 
also getting that whoever you this masculine energy is, whoever your counterpart is, Libra, they think you you are like amused to them. This person could work a lot. They could work with their hands. But I feel like at work, this person is often thinking about you while they're working, but they're they're really trying to keep themselves busy. Or this could be you or this could be the both of you. I feel like, again, with that mirror song being your um overall energy, you guys are mirroring each other. So I feel like the both of you are working very hard, you know, just trying to stay on task and trying to stay focused, trying not to really think about each other or draw attention to each other or be in each other's energy too much. But it's like unavoidable at this point. All right. And I feel like. Yeah, I'm hearing um, Maxwell, Pretty Wings, uh, and I miss you more and more if I can't have you. Okay. Um. So uh, this is about the moon, though. But I mean, I'm I wasn't really being drawn that much to the moon. There is something going on outside, and that okay. Thank spirit, come through the through so i feel like yeah that y'all remember i just i literally just said i wasn't really paying attention to what's going on out there and that's the energy that spirit wants you to have focus on the task at hand focus on you focus on your peace focus on your growth focus on your creative projects focus on your life don't worry about what's going on outside that window this is the universe working in your favor okay that's that's not what you're supposed to be focused on all right so it says the waxing moon on the card shows an exciting time of increased abundance and growth. Your efforts have combined with external circumstances and even the stars have aligned. If things have been financially tight for you recently, relax. There is great opportunity for increase and fulfillment in every way, financially, creatively, and even in your reputation and prestige. So just do your work and get ready to receive. Yeah, period. So again, spirit is like, let me work. Trust me and let me work. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, where else are we going? Spirit here? No, not yet. Okay. So now we're going to tap into the masculine energy and see what's going on with the masculine side. Okay. And this masculine can be any sign does not have to be a Libra. Okay. This is just your reading Libra. Okay. You have listened to life. I feel like a conversation needs to happen. I I was immediately drawn to the blue. Okay. I feel like, and with you, it's the green. With you, it's the heart chakra. With this masculine, it's the, um, I'm hearing, they're telling me crown chakra. So it's throat chakra, chakra and a little bit of crown chakra, maybe third eye. Okay. But with you, there's a lot of heart here. Okay. A lot of love. Your heart chakra is very, very open. Okay. And with this masculine energy, I feel like it's verbal. It's throat chakra, okay? It's talking. It's conversation. So maybe there's a conversation that needs to be had. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. This person has strong cancer in their chart. I was even drawn to wear blue today. So, yeah, I don't know. But it says, I am attentive to the world. It says, listen to life. Oh, my gosh. And I'm getting that song, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. When it's calling for you, listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where we're going and I don't know why, but listen to your heart. Oh, wow. Okay. It says, I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. So I feel like this person is paying more. This person is getting more signs and synchronicities about you um, and about themselves, about their journey and or this connection with you. Okay. So I feel like this person is paying more attention now to signs and synchronicities, whereas to before, if they were not really um, embracing the transformation or embracing the change before, they were really shut off to any and oblivious to any signs and synchronicities that they may have been seeing surrounding you or their connection or just, you know, their guys trying to get in touch with you, if uh, with them. If this person was someone that wasn't, open to this connection or wasn't open to even their healing journey or you know 
they could have missed a lot of signs. And I feel like now this person is becoming more aware. And I still feel like they can't quite put their finger on what is happening. But I do feel like this person may be noticing, you know, small things at first, like 2929 on the timer. <laughs> okay. I was about to say like number synchronicities. So yeah, 2929 as I said that. Um, and I feel like this person is noticing things like that more. They may even be noticing things, you know, that have to do with you more. They may be seeing your name everywhere or hearing your name, or they may be, um, they may be watching TV or hearing conversations and, you know, think certain things come up that, you know, remind this person of you, maybe things that you guys have talked about or something that you said before to them. Um, or maybe even something, you know, that they dreamed about with the, between the two of you coming up in their, um, daily life. And this person is like, what the heck is going on? Right. So I feel like now this person is paying more, is more attentive to the signs and the synchronicities. I'm hearing the elephant in the room. So there's something that this person was ignoring that needed to be addressed, whether this is you. Um, could be a conversation that you guys need to have with the blue um here or a conversation that they need to have e eternal internally with themselves or with spirit. OK, um, but I feel like this person is a lot more attentive to the signs and the synchronicities and the things that are going on around them and to this connection as well. All right. So, yeah. Whew. All right. I'm hearing focus. They're more focused. They're focused, very focused at this time. What's going on with the masculine energy spirit? What's going on in the masculine energy? I'm in jujitsu. Somebody may practice jujitsu. I feel like that's something that requires a lot of focus. So I don't know. Ooh. So indecision. Is coming out for the masculine side. And remember I said something about the crown chakra? The purple being here? Yeah. This person... This person is very indecisive. This person is just trying to keep it pushing, okay? Your masculine, this masculine energy is just trying so hard to keep it pushing. They're seeing these signs and secret... They're, I feel like they're a little freaked out. And I feel like... Um, they could be a little freaked out because of you, Libra, okay? And I I feel like, especially if they're getting signs and synchronicities about you or, you know, hearing things, things coming to light that you may have told this person or, converse, like I said, whatever, whatever um, signs and synchronicities they're getting about you or that's connecting them to you or making them think about you or whatever, it's freaking them out a little bit, all right? So I'm getting have patience with this person because they're a little freaked out. Now, this indecision card says I use my intuition in all in all aspects of life. So I feel like this person is really um, learning how to tap into their intuition or trust their intuition. 32, 32, again, as I said that. So this masculine energy could be experiencing a lot of synchronicities here, okay? And y'all know how that is. You're, you're on this this journey. You're on this spiritual path, Um Libra. So you know how it is when, you know, you get overloaded and bombarded with the signs and the synchronicities. Okay. You're like seeing 1010 everywhere. And then if it's not, um, it, it could be, you know, 743 or, oh, not 743. Sorry. Like 10. <laughs> um, it could be like 1037. Okay. And you're like 1010. Okay. So you see 1010. And then, you know, later you see 1037 and you're like, that's 1010 too. And then my battery's on 10%. And then today's the 10th day and you're like, oh my gosh, all of this, I can't. It's like that person, your person is going through that now. And I think I said this in the last, I don't know if I said this in a previous reading or not, but what I think I have though, whatever you were going through, in um, your spiritual journey, your spiritual awakening, especially your connection with this person, this person is now experiencing those things. So that's why I say be patient with this person. You know what I'm saying? Because you know exactly what that feels like, how it is to be overwhelmed and bombarded with all of the things that happen um, on your, during a spiritual awakening, even during the dark night of the soul. This person is just, they're going through that right now. And, you know... They are very much in their head about 
everything. This person really feels like they may be losing their shit right now, okay? So, you know, just be patient with this person, um, Libra. I'm hearing the name Eddie. Chris Stanley. I'm hearing Montego Bay. What 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 is Marty Python? I'm hearing that. <laughs> okay. I've heard that before. Um, but this person is is I feel like learning how to use their intuition to make decisions here. With the indecision card, it says I use my intuition in all aspects of life. And so now that this person is maybe, you know, slowly awakening and paying a little more attention to what's going on around them spiritually. I feel like they are now learning how to trust their intuition or tap into their intuition in every aspect of their life here. So I feel like this person is going through a major change and transformation and they're just trying to, you know, figure it all out and get it all together. Like, what does this mean? What's going on? Am I going crazy? Am I losing my mind? Like, do I need to seek help or therapy or like, you know, do I just embrace this? And I feel like slowly slowly this person is embracing this learning to trust their intuitions in small aspects of their life right now maybe what should i have for dinner and then going with their first instinct on that or you know should i take this job or should i leave the house today or not like trusting in small aspects of their intuition in that way okay and it's going to open up to bigger Things like, okay, so if, if all of that was correct and if my intuition told me this and I trusted this and it happened, you know, it played out the way that I intuitively thought it was going to play out, then what about this connection with Libra? And, you know, it's, they're kind of going down, there's kind of going down a rabbit hole with it right now. Okay, Libra. So that's the energy that this masculine is in right now. Let's pull an Akashic Tarot and see what's going on with this masculine. Yeah, see, caught in the ruins. Um, I said something at the beginning about this masculine could be caught up in some stuff, caught up in some shit or caught up in something, caught up in their head, um, maybe trapped in a, in another connection, a karmic cycle or something like that here. Oh, 16 is significant because, um, January the 6th could be significant or 16 could be significant because when I told y'all about the song, the playlist, and I was like, when I got down to the last song, the mirror song, and I started feeling all of this energy to come and do this reading, I'm like, how did I go through all 16 songs? Because the first song hit and then the last song hit. So it's like <laughs> everything in the middle was cool. It was up and down, but it was very much twin flamey type energy. Because I even remember saying to myself, this is a very bipolar like playlist. This is a very up and down playlist. Like there were... You you went from um I can tell y'all it was on the song on the playlist it was like the climb by Miley Cyrus Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie and it was like um climax by Usher and then it was like bust the windows out of your car by Jasmine Sullivan and I'm like what the heck is going on with this playlist but that speaks so much to the twin flame so many connect to this journey that you guys are on because you have like I said the first song hit I connected with like I okay I know how this could pertain to that. The last song really hit. And all the stuff in the middle is like the topsy-turvy ups and downs and ins and outs of this connection, okay? And ugh, it's crazy. I'm definitely going to do that playlist for you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that playlist, all right? Um, yeah. Let's just see what the energy of this masculine is because I feel like I'm... Oh, but I said 16 because... When I got to the last song, I'm like, all of these songs, and then this one hits like that. And then I go, I count the songs, and there's 16 songs. Like, guys, I literally wrote 16 songs. Like, there was 16 songs on this playlist. So the number 16 could be very significant. Maybe December the 16th could be significant for you guys. Upcoming date, or January the 6th, okay? Yeah, this person definitely works with their hands here. I feel like handyman, electrician, uh, contractor, artist. Like, I don't know. I'm definitely feeling somebody working with their hands. This person, oh, you got Archangel Raphael showing up. Oh, yeah. This per oh, Archangel Gabriel showing up. Yeah, this person is seeing a lot 
a lot. Of, they're going through a, a lot of spiritual things. The number eight could be very significant here. The number seven. Oh, wow. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> and then the your card said, said something about the stars aligning. And then you got six, seven, eight out here. And you got Archangel Raphael, which is like um, the gift giver. Okay. Um, this person may be spiritually gifted. You got the light of the world. You got the, this person is getting that knock on the door, that tap. And remember um, in your, in your energy, when I said focusing and not paying attention to what's going on, letting the universe work, this is the same energy of this masculine. They're in this masculine in their house, minding their business, doing whatever it is that they're doing. And they're not even paying attention to tap, 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 knock on the door. Hey, this is your spiritual awakening calling you uh, masculine. <laughs> and they're just not paying attention. Oh, Wow. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to. Um, I had to pause. But yeah, um, I feel like this person definitely works with their their with their hands here. Um, and very focused. They're very focused. I said something about focus earlier. I'm gonna just read this card. Seven of Scrolls. Oh wow! I knew I was gonna see focus on this card, on this book. I just knew it. I just knew it. It says, "Um, work on a Renaissance cathedral has just begun, and it's giving me work has just begun. This person's spiritual journey, spiritual awakening has just begun, and I'm hearing that song. We've only just begun." The romance is not over. Got a lot, a lot of love to give. So yeah, I feel like this is not over. <laughs> okay, whatever this is, okay. But you have, um, at first this building seems modest, but in time it's grandeur, it's grandeur, grand, grandeur, grandeur, will reach several stories high and across the centuries. But now piles of stones and rocks dot the scene. A mason bends, focusing intently on a plumb bob that hangs next to a partially built wall. This instrument helps him determine if the wall is straight and true alignment. At a, at a very basic level, this card could indicate building or renovating a home or business. This card also shows that you're on your way to greatness, but it requires attending to even the tiniest of particulars. Be diligent with the specifics in your strategy and pay considerable attention to detail and follow through. While you may have a long-term goal in mind, the small steps are what's important now. Even the most magnificent cathedrals were built stone by stone, day by day. It's only by heaping up the small that the great can be achieved. And that's what, like kind of what I was saying about um, being patient with this person. Um, they're being patient with themselves. They're taking things step by step, day by day. So, and I, yeah. So, wow. This person could even be um, spiritually gifted, tapped in, tapping into their spiritual gifts. And like I said, I feel like all of that. I'm going to read this Archangel Michael card too. I feel like that is really, really freaking them out. And again, like I said nine times out of ten you're here because you're resonating with this because you've been on this journey because you're familiar with that energy and i and that's why you know you know the amount of patience that it takes to you know even you know that you have to have a certain amount of patience even with yourself when you're on this awakening journey because you can really feel like you're losing your mind right and um i feel like that's what this person is going through at this time all right it says the archangel Raphael walks down a path and, appro and approaches you, sharing his healing and uplifting light. He is pro a profoundly loving spirit who has an important role in bringing Akashic power to you. This beautiful being carries the energy of love, family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you and more. Of all the archangels, Raphael most often comes in the guise of a human. This card can indicate that help others may be attending you now it also portends a time of great achievement in your personal life 
And Raphael is opening up the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream, a reuniting with family members, or a healing, perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while, now is the time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in this process, and you'll soon see why they call him the miracle worker. Yeah, be prepared for some miracles, Libra, in this connection, I feel like. And I feel like this person is experiencing a lot of, experiencing a lot of miracles, as well as you guys. So let's see what's going on here in this connection. Um, pulling for the feminine. What's going on? Give me some energy of the feminine, please. I just saw the distorted masculine in the deck. And now you have the divine masculine coming out here. This person is healed or they're healing and you have maturity. So maturity, growth, your, and I'm clarifying your energy, uh, Libra. <laughs> you have 2312 out here. Okay. Maturity, card number 23. Um, and then divine masculine is 12. Your masculine is maturing. You have commitment on the bottom of the deck. Followed by resolving conflict and re revelations. Yeah. And then drive. This person could be getting ready to come towards you. Um, there could be a, a, a commitment. Um, I was about to say a reunion in the works, but okay. A commitment in the works. Okay. Your birthday could be September 23rd or October 12th. December 23rd could be significant. January the 2nd or February the 3rd. April 23rd or April 12th could be significant. Or February, I mean, okay, February the 4th. Didn't mean to say that, but February the 4th or um, December the 4th, okay? Could be significant dates that you guys, December 4th is an upcoming date. December 23rd is an upcoming date. So those dates may mean something to you. Um... I feel like you're hoping that this masculine has matured and I feel like they are, are maturing and they have. Because like I said, I saw the divine masculine while I was shuffling. I mean, the distorted masculine while I was shuffling, but you got the divine masculine that came out here. This person is healing. Your counterpart coming out in your energy. Yin and yang, freaking twin flame energy on the split. Oh my gosh. I was about to say, if the divine feminine card comes out... <laughs> Libra, look. Divine feminine spiritual maturity. Wow. Not only do you have the divine masculine coming out, you also have the divine feminine coming out, your freaking counterpart, with spiritual maturity, growth. And look, you guys have done the individual healing and now. There's two people in this card. There's masculine and feminine in this card. Now you're on the you're gonna finish the path together. Didn't I say something at the beginning about the person that you're gonna finish life with or do life with? And look at the increscent moon on this card that you guys had on your card. Wow. Wow, Libra. Somebody could be 34, 36, 23. Okay. November could be significant. You have the number 11 here. 11 is a twin flame number. Chabai, get out of here. <laughs> What's going to come out for this masculine size? Here? Wow, you can't get any more confirmative than that. Reparenting yourself. This person has definitely been healing, healing their inner child. They are definitely on a journey. Yeah. Definitely on a journey. What else for this masculine? Can I get one more? Definitely healing. Reparenting themselves. Healing their inner child. Doing 
this is a masculine that is doing the work. Okay? I mean, doing the work. And good for him. Good for him. Clear your energy. Card number 16. 16 is very significant. Either your birthday is October the 16th. Could be um September 25th. Or uh, December 16th could be significant. Or January the 6th could be significant. Okay? Um, it says clear your energy. It's giving me more healing. Clearing, clearing your energy is, you know, about um, healing. I feel like this person is clearing their path of negativity here. This and, and healing. Yeah, reflection. Doing a lot of inner work and a lot of reflection. Perseverance moving forward. Hip child. Healing. Healing. I can't make it up. And they about to be open and tell you some type of truth here, um, Libra. Whew. All right. Well, what else? <laughs> I mean, good grief. What else? Tell me. Um, okay, hold on. They want me to use this deck. See, didn't I say karmic relationship? Yeah, sudden change and then twin flames. Yeah, this person got to transform. Tra first of all, they're transforming from a distorted energy to a divine energy. They're letting go of a karmic relationship to connect with the twin flame relationship. Okay, you may be hearing from this person soon. Love call. If, you, if you're if you not already in contact with them, you may be hearing from this person soon. This is literally your other half. Like, I can't get any more confirmation than this divine masculine divine feminine you got the two walking on the spiritual path together spiritual maturity and growth together oh wow look talking yeah there's definitely a conversation that needs to be had some love that's going to be expressed um somebody wants to talk to you they're thinking about you they're about to let you know how they feel tell me um mm, good grief give me a card for the divine feminine please me a card for tell me how this divine feminine is feeling about the divine masculine that's what i want to know how's the divine feminine feel you feel like this person is not doing enough and because you don't see you're heartbroken you feel like they're playing games you feel like somebody's in this player energy still okay or something like that you feel like this masculine is still in distorted energy and you just really want to know what's going on but you feel like that because you don't know what's going on right how does Libra kind of feel about this divine masculine how does Libra currently feel about this divine masculine? Because we can call him divine now, honey. Oh, you love him. This is your lobster. You're ready for this to ascend to a higher level of commitment. You're like, I am ready. And again, spirit is like, let me work, Libra. I'm working on it. Okay? It says unconditional love, self-love, wholeness, affection, attraction, and selflessness. Gosh, I hope this person's energy is the same. <laughs> Tell me how this masculine is feeling about Libra. How's this masculine energy feeling about Libra? Oh my gosh. I saw this card in my mind's eye, y'all. I promise you, I kid you not. I shit you not. I saw this in my mind's eye. Wow. What that's why that's exactly why I said I hope they have the same energy. I can't. I can't. Yeah, you're not you not you're you and this person are not talking and you may be upset about this Libra. Baby, you can't get any more balance than this. The first thing on the top of both of these cards says unconditional love. You saw it here with your own two eyes, Libra. You know it with your third eye. You know this is your person. You, wow. And and I said, how does Libra's person, how does this masculine feel about Libra? Unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, and affection returned. It's like you're my mirror. My mirror staring back at me. Come on, man. Affection return. So all of this that you're feeling, they're feeling too. Oh my God, that's so stinking cute. 
All right, I want to get some signs. We know your sign, Libra. So let's get, look, split it on Libra. <laughs> let's get some possible signs of this masculine energy. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And I'm going to finish out with some tea leaves and then I'm out. What are the possible signs here for Libra? You got Capricorn. Mm. I'm going to get like four. Capricorn, Scorpio. Number eight is here again. Can I get two more? Leo. I'm hearing Desi. Oh, you got two. Okay. Cancer Pisces. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I can't. Let's get some tea leaves. Wow. Look at that. Romance celebration party. I'm hearing reunited and it feels so good. Okay, this is beautiful. This is very there may be some type of issue going on between the two of you though. Let me let me see what the blockage is. Hold on. Let me see what the issue is between the two of you. I know I already know that you're not talking. Um somebody's avoiding a conversation. Somebody feels hurt um or they're upset or something like that. But let's see. What's the blockage here? What's blocking this connection right now? I do feel like it's more coming from the masculine side because they are on this massive healing journey here, okay? 5511, I just saw on the timer, 5511. And guys, I think the, my this app that I'm using adds like 30 seconds or something to my time. So if the time is off and it's not matching up with what I'm saying, just trust me that that's what it is right now, okay? <laughs> What's the blockage here between... This. okay so it says new phase rekindle renew and grow change mind rise from ashes i need something else what's the blockage what's stopping this connection what's the hold up here So somebody's focused on their stability and growth. I just feel like a lot of growth type of energy. So again, um, you and or this masculine are both just really focused on your growth. But I do see that you guys want to rekindle this and go to the next phase. All right. Yeah. Somebody could be having like firm boundaries or I don't know. I feel like. I just feel like um, because it says charmed or used and enable boundaries. I feel like because you don't know what's going on with this person, Libra, and you're not talking to this person at this time, you feel like this person just really playing on your emotions and your feelings here. And you could have set some very firm boundaries. Um, maybe you could have even block this person. And this person is really just focused on their stability and security here, okay? Or this could be you. I feel like y'all are both kind of stubborn. Let's give me some tea leaves for this. <laughs> oh my God. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Didn't I? You're almost there, Libra. I said that. It is not. What, what did she say? Um, It ain't about how fast I get there. It ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. It's, ooh, it's always going to be a mountain that you need to move, Libra. But it's all about the climb. Okay? It ain't about how fast you get there. It ain't about what's on the other side. That's why I said this masculine what's going on the other side is not for you to worry about. It's about the climb. Child by. And look at the mountain here. I'm not. I'm done. Tower. Solid foundation. Successful effort. What's going on here, spirit? Just give me a few. Defend your, you need to uh, defend yourself. You feel like you need to defend yourself from this person. Again, that's why I said you could have put boundaries up blocking from this person because you don't. You feel like you just don't know what's going on and you, you had it up to here. But you're going to have victory in some and ever here. October could be significant. <sighs> Deep personal strength and peace assured. Um, fears and worries, intense situation. Yeah, you you ready to cut this person off, Libra? Because you so dang on worried, because <laughs> they not you, you just ready to cut this person off. But look, you'll be receiving or getting a precious gift. You ready to be done with this person because you don't know what's going on. But I'm telling you what's going on here, Libra. So if you still want to cut them out, then that's on you. September, January is here, so you could be a September Libra. January could be significant. January the twenty third could be significant. January the sixth keeps popping up. Um. Karma is here. I feel like 
good karma coming for you. Good things coming for you in this connection. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. You have lion out here. Now is the time to act. Some of you may be something about a Taurus. A stubborn or aggressive person. I feel like that's that karmic energy again. I'm not interested in dealing with that. A sincere wish will be granted. Key, successful outcome to your problems. This person may be about to um, act. Staff, you will be shown the... You will be taken care of in difficult times. Vacation. I feel like you guys are on a vacation or on a break from each other. I heard a fight. You could have had a fight. You had a fight or an argument with this person, Libra. I heard dancing for dollars, child. What the hell? I feel like that's karmic energy coming in. I'm not paying attention to that. New job or career. Some of you are starting a new job or career or this person um, is... And then you have new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Someone will gossip about your secrets. And you will be taken care of in difficult times. All right. So I'm going to leave the message here, Libra. I hope this helped. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.